Yo, what up, America? <clears throat> it's your boy. Um, I was, uh, wanted to do this video. Uh, some of you guys know I posted a video uh, earlier this week uh, about a guy who died who was in my life, um, played a significant role re <clears throat> recently. Um, and uh, he, he passed away uh, last week, and I found out on Monday. And uh, it's had an effect on me. I really think about it a lot. And um, last night, I mean, uh, well, I guess it's still tonight. Um, it's now like 2-something in the morning. I was listening to Anthony Hamilton, and uh, you know how that could go sometimes. Anthony Hamilton is a soul singer. Got a lot of pain he dealing with or has dealt with. The album I was listening to uh, has Charlene on it, and I'm a mess. And he talking about, you know, um, times in his life that were real hard. And so I just started thinking, man, thinking about uh, Josh's death. A um, uh, guy, he was my business coach, uh, mentor of mine. Um, uh, really uh, has helped me a lot in my business. Um, so anyway, I was thinking about him and I was just thinking, man, like, I, I don't want, I want people to know how much they mean to me. Uh, I don't want to, to pass away cause I could, cause life is a vapor and just how Josh is gone. I could be gone. Um, and I said this before, but I, I, I keep eternity in front of me. I don't pretend to to feel invincible or be invincible. Um, I know that life could be over at any moment. And um, that being the case, I want the people who I care about to know how much I care about them. So um, I was just thinking about the people I care about. And, um, and I was thinking about my, my friend, my brother, Arrain Smith, and I, I was thinking about man how like my life has been so impacted by this individual. This guy's amazing, and and I was just thinking, man, I, I just want to make a video just dedicated to him, and I'm gonna do this from time to time. Just make a video dedicated to a different individual who I care about, I love, and I want to have that person know and that before I die how important they are to my life because I could be gone at any second and I would hate for my life to be over and this person did not know what they meant to me. Um, that and, you know, also, you know, celebrate this person publicly, you know. It's not just a video to that person, obviously. Uh, anybody could see it, but I, I just, it's like, man, life could be over in any second, man. So, man, let me tell you a little bit about this dude, Orrain Smith. So, I first met him, FAMU's campus. Um, he was, uh, he, he, he led this ministry called House of Judah. And this ministry, their whole thing was, see, we came up so religious, like, we couldn't do nothing. Like, there wasn't no dancing, there wasn't no, definitely no partying, no clubbing, no drinking, no nothing. You know, my views on that have, have changed a little bit uh, for the most part. I'm, I'm not out there wilding, but, you know, I, I've eased up a lot in terms of what you can do and still love God. But he, man, he started this ministry, House of Judah, because it's like Christians, um, they didn't have an outlet. It's like, man, it's Friday night, Saturday night, everybody going to the club, girls getting beautiful, you know, fixed up, fellas looking fresh, and they going out, and we didn't have anything like that. So this dude created, um, it was somebody else who helped him. I never met her. That, that was before my time. But this dude created a, a, essentially a, a, an organization where they would put on parties, they would put on, like, skating events, game nights, all types of events just for um, p 
people who want to live holy and honor God with their lifestyle to have a an outlet, somewhere to go, somewhere to be, somewhere to belong. Um, they didn't have to go to the club and violate their morals. They could, they could, they could have fun and 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 still feel good that that they're being like Christ. And I remember my my freshman year, I went to a few events, and I was like, man, this is dope. And I remember I saw him on campus one time. He was, uh, Rain is older than me by like six, eight years, something like that. Um, matter of fact, it's eight years because he turned 40 and I'm 32. Anyway, um, I remember being like, I felt like I, I had seen a celebrity. I remember we were in the Perry Page building, the ground floor. And I was like, yo, Rain. He didn't know who I was, but he was like, yo, what's up, man? You know? Yeah, man, I remember you. How you doing, man? You good? All right. And I was like, I shook his hand. <laughs> like, he was the man. Oh, by the way, he used to DJ these events. So he, was the, he wasn't just the creator. He was the MC DJ. So I was big into Christian rap at that time. And it was like, you, it wasn't widespread. We didn't have Lecrae getting on BET back then. We had, like, just... A few, a few acts, first of all, and like you had to dig to find that joint. And then this guy had like a freaking collection of Christian hip hop. And I was just like, this guy is amazing, you know? So he's a DJ. He's cool. He, he understands, you know, the hip hop culture, but he loves Christ. So fast forward, um, down the line, I actually get involved with House of Judah, um, and I uh, I start to uh, volunteer with the organization, and you know, then I remember this uh, the the first time, um, this guy Rain. I, I, it was after the meeting. Um, we were like gonna do something for the organization, maybe like pass out flyers, and. And he was like, hey, you want to ride with me? And I was like, can I? <laughs> I thought this guy was just the man. Um, this is DJ Rain we talking about. Um, so, so I remember just intrigued, man, asking him a bunch of questions, you know. Um, and I was, I was riding with him. He had a Tahoe at the time, a black Tahoe. Um, what was the name of that Tahoe? I think he named it Shira. <laughs> Shira. So, um, riding with Rain, um, hey, he was just telling me about, you know, his life goals and, and, uh, and, you know, when he graduated, he was an engineering student and all that. And I was like, man, this dude is, he's, he's, he's that dude. Um, and so, so, uh, over time I got more and more involved in House of Judah um, going to events, but also volunteering and gaining his trust. One thing about Rain is, man, he does so much and he does it on his own, which is, I mean, it's, it's, it's to a fault sometimes. And he'll admit it that, you know, sometimes he needs to do a better job of delegating, but I gained his trust over time. Um, and so, man, we just started developing a friendship, which was cool. But then, um, Dude bought a house in the hood, um, uh, across the street from the projects, and um, and you know it was it, it was cool. We would go over there, kick it, and then I, I'm 20 years old, and my realtor <laughs> was my friend who was like not that much older than me. I also bought a house in the hood, across the street from the projects. I didn't know it was the projects until we were about to close. And I was like, oh, man, is this going to be a problem? <laughs> it was. Later on, I came to find out. But anyway, I, I ended up moving two blocks from, from rain. Um, so I would literally go over his house four or five times a week. Definitely talk to him every day. Um, and uh, let them know, hey, man, I want to start DJing with you. So we started DJing these events, the House of Judah events. But also, um, 
when people get married, Christians, they want Christian music at their weddings. And so um, he would DJ weddings. And um, I started DJing weddings with him. And, um, man, I love so much music now that I had no idea existed. Uh, I grew up, I, I got saved when I was 13. So I, at that time, I was just like, man, anything that's not Christian, I don't even want to deal with it. Right. Um, and then, you know, I get around this guy and I'm like, I start discovering, hey, call me crazy. I was like 19, well, 20, 20 something. And I, I didn't know about no guy, no Luther Vandross, no, uh, shoot. I, I knew a little bit about Sade, but, um, you know, just yeah, Maxwell, you know, just good music, man. Shoot. Anthony Hamilton, which now is one of my favorites. I, it, it was, it was, it's just crazy. And now, you know, seeing where I am now, where I'm, I'm the, the music guy. I mean, I've DJed events on my own without rain later. Um, and uh, it was all because of what he, man, he just took me under his wing, man. Uh, let me drive the Tahoe, um, carry, carry CDs with him. Man, we would go to a bunch of events, crazy events in little small towns, small churches, DJing for some obscure organization, like random things would happen. Um, man, just, just really hanging out, man, Saturdays. Uh, going to a wedding, then changing and going to another another wedding. We had to change into their their colors um, for for whatever event it was or a wedding it was. And this dude works so hard, man, so hard to um, you know as for that business, but also so hard, man, to to affect the city, man. Tallahassee, Florida. That's where I went to school. That's where I met Rain. And he still lives there. Tallahassee, Florida would not be what it is in terms of definitely the black church community um, without this man. He's put on concerts, um, different, like so many events. So many Christian artists have come to Tallahassee because of this guy. I mean, it's like you need an event, you need music, you need a sound, you need a DJ. He is the go-to. And beyond just DJing, man, giving people, giving Christians the opportunity to, like, like being saved is cool. And it's because of him. Um, like, people don't know how much work he's put in, money he's put in, and... And like he should be celebrated, he should be honored. One day, I'm gonna do a House of Judah documentary. We were already talking about it. We were in the planning stages. I got busy with work, so it it, it hasn't gone down yet. But like this guy should be celebrated for all he's done. Um, he's putting in a lot of dough, man. I saw when he would just buy stuff for events for the kingdom, man. This dude is not a perfect Christian by any means. And I praise God because I have a relationship with him to the point where, you know, we talk about our flaws. He, I know his. He knows mine. I know he is not a perfect Christian by any means. But the dude has a passion to honor God and to affect people for the kingdom of God, man. And it's, it's incredible. Like, the dude is a, is, is a servant, man. He has a servant's heart. Man, he taught me. It's just about hard work, like, hey, like, we got stuff to do. Hey, pick up a speaker. Go ahead and, um, you know, undo those cords. Like, let's go. We got we got stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think he picked that up from his uh, late pastor. Rest in peace, Rev. Anyway, so Rain um, is in the hood. I'm in the hood. We got cribs two blocks from each other. I used to walk there sometimes. And, man like a big brother he's older than me um so many things about owning a home i didn't even know about like i had i think i had a toolbox that lauren got me at walmart for like 15 dollars, and that's all i had <laughs> and things come up in the house um and man he would be right there to help me fix stuff and um man help me to cope 
with what the heck am I doing? I'm 20, at the time, I guess when I moved in, I was 21 years old and I own a home. Uh, I had tenants. I'm a landlord. Uh, I'm still in college though. Um, so then enters Tamara, who is now his wife. Um, I remember when he first fell in love with her. We were DJing a wedding uh, in, in somewhere north of Tallahassee. And, and we was like, yo, look at her. And I mean, we had seen her. I'd seen her before at different House of Judah events and they went to the same church. But he was like, I remember looking at him and he was like awestruck. And I was like, yo, you should holler at her. And he was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I love Rain, but I was like, yo, he can't pull that. Like, this ain't happening. <laughs> and lo and behold, man, not only did he pull her, he, he put a ring on that and got two kids right now. So, anyway, they started dating. And, um, man, um, later on down the line, Rain actually asked me to be his best man. He had two. I was one of them. And that was an honor, man. I look back on that and just thinking about the great man that Rain is. The fact that he asked me to be his best man is such an honor. I feel I feel really honored, man, that I was there on the on the night of it on the day of his wedding and you know, just being able to support him in that in that way. He was also in my wedding. Um and um Man, this dude. So I was in his wedding. He was in my wedding, and um, and uh, I just random memories we have. Uh, the Heat winning the championship, us all being at his house uh, to watch it. Um, uh, us doing double dates together. Um, we got married uh, shoot a few months after him. So then we were both married. Us doing double dates together. I remember one time we did this double date. We went to a, a restaurant first, and then I had a crib at the time <clears throat> with this big upstairs, <clears throat> and we decorated it. Uh, I'm like, bought a bunch of flower petals and put it, you know, like put a bunch of flower petals up there, and like got some candles, and like um, we uh, <laughs> we uh, we painted these uh, pictures of. Um, of like what our lives were gonna be like in ten years, man. I got that somewhere around here. I, I saw it the other day. I hope we just clean out the garage. I hope my wife did not throw that thing away. I'll be so mad. But anyway, so so then that was like part of the date was like we we drew out like our life in ten years, um, what it would look like, and then we went upstairs to where like it was set up, and we were like. You know, like he did a thing, like appreciation to his wife, like, hey, I just want to tell you I love you. And, you know, and then I did. And uh, and it was just, <laughs> it was just, just trying to make something up, man. Being broke, uh, being in college, or I think I was recently out, but we ain't had no money. And we're just, um, just like, yo, let's, let's do something for them. Um, so we uh, painted, <laughs> finger painting. We literally bought finger paint and was finger painting on these um, these boards. Man, I gotta find that thing. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's dude rain. Um, when I go into town, I stay with him. Um, one of my best friends in the world. And again, going back to what I started off with. I don't want to, I don't want to die. I don't want to, I don't want my life to be over. I don't know when that'll be. And this guy not know what he means to me. Um, how much I admire him. How much I, I think that I'm a man because of him. Um, him being a big brother to me. And ultimately my best friend. I mean, when I was moving to Michigan for law school, he was there for me. I'm just thinking about stuff. When we had a truck, we didn't we we put the truck on Craigslist. We weren't gonna we weren't gonna take it up to Michigan. Uh, we we're gonna sell it. 
the dude, he was like, man, don't worry about selling the truck. Just go up there, settle in. I'm going to be in charge of selling it. So the dude, like, um, basically parked it somewhere and, and he was like, he handled the whole transaction, like showing the truck, uh, you know, talking to buyers, negotiating price. And, and then afterwards, man, I was like, yo, let me give you something for everything you did. And he was like, nah, man, I like, just let me know where to put the money, how to send it. And that was such a blessing because we were so freaking broke. <laughs> like, we were in Michigan broke. And um, that's just one of the things the guy did, um, man, when we went to Orlando for, for my wedding. That's where I got married. I just remember him holding holding it down so much because that's his city. And, um, man, that's just the, the servant that he is. Um, I love him dearly. I, Rain, I love you dearly. Um, I thank you for all that you've done in my life. There's so many stories that I'm forgetting um, of things that we did together. And, um, again, I just want to thank you. And um, I know that this is what I know. And this is what's going to be dope. Is that whoever watches this video is going to have their own Rain story. And I want you to put it in the comments. But people are going to be like, yeah, Rain is the best. Yeah, Rain. I remember when I was doing this. Man, he helped move me in here. I, I, I remember he helped do this. Let me just talk about this, man. I know of two women in particular. He... The, these, the, the father of, of, of their children were not in their lives. So this one person, um, the father is not in his life, the kid's life. And Rain would just have the kid come over his crib and do yard work together, do whatever. But was like a, like a father figure in his life. Nobody asked Rain to do this, but he just felt like it was the right thing to do. Then another kid, he's actually the kid's uh, godfather, but same thing, man. The mom had to work. Um, Rain would watch the kid. The mom would, you know, have to do something else. Rain would be there, man, helping to raise the kid. And that's that's like that that mentorship, that big brother, that father figure. That's the type of stuff, man. That heart of gold type stuff. Um, it's just, I appreciate you, bro. And um, and again, I just want you to know, man, if if you don't feel appreciated, I want you to know how much I appreciate you. Ah, oh, man, let me tell this other story. I keep forgetting them, and then I think about them. We only had one car. Again, the theme of this video is we were broke <laughs> when we first got married, Lauren and I. Super broke. We only had one car. She had to go somewhere else, and I was going to work. I worked on FAMU's campus. His Rain's job was south of FAMU's campus. So my house, by the way, we both moved out the hood. Thank God. He freed us from the trap. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but we ended up moving, again, two blocks from each other. So I'm married, and he's married, and we moved, like, two blocks from each other. So our houses were here. FAMU's campus was here. And then his job was here. So family was on the way. And he was like, man, I'll just take you to work. And he started doing that for a span of like a year and a half, man. We would go to work every every morning together. And um, he would pick me up. I'd wait for him on the corner. And he'd pick me up and take me to work every day. Again, something he didn't need to do. But he volunteered. Like That's the thing. He volunteers this stuff. Um, thank you, Rain. Thank you for that. Um, putting me on the house of Judah, loving on me, um, giving me opportunities, uh, paying me. He used to pay me for helping him DJ, for helping him carry speakers and, and whatnot. And, uh, I was like, shoot, thank you. Cause I was so broke. <laughs> um, and that's the thing, man. I know people are going to have their own rain stories. They're going to be like, yeah, man. I remember when rain did this. I remember when rain did that. Um, 
And, uh, bro, thank you. I remember him giving people places to stay. Man, he's gotten screwed over by so many people because of his kindness. Um, giving people places to stay, letting people borrow stuff. And, man, just amazing dude. Beautiful family. I love you, bro. And God bless you. And again, if I if I if you outlive me, I want you to watch this video and remember that I love you, man. Um, again, not to be morbid, but I'm just it's my realization that life is a vapor. Uh, this video is long enough. I hope by now you get the picture. All right, brother. Love you, man. Peace.